Hello, happy Monday. Thank you for joining me here tonight. My name is Alyssa Thomas from Penguin and Fish, where we make lovely and quirky hand embroidery kits. And I'm here every weeknight at 8.30 p.m. Central Time, and it's a time that we can relax and craft together for about an hour here. Um, tonight we are working on the Lil Felt Village uh, by Betts White. And we are working on the spooky clock tower from the Lil Felt Village uh, stitch along, the make along. So there's 12 different little cute miniature houses that were um, that are in this make along, and we are doing the spooky clock tower one. And a new one was released today, so I will show you guys that as well if you're interested. So I'm gonna flip you around so we can get going, and uh, we'll get started. Look, I, I stacked my um, clock tower up. We got some work to do on it yet, but I'll show you that. Okay, so flipping you around, guys. <laughs> so there is my unassembled clock tower so far. Hold on a sec here. All right, so thanks again, you guys, for joining me here tonight. So here is our clock tower. <laughs> We're working on it. It's all in, oops, it's all in its little parts yet. We have to, uh, we have to stitch up the edges tonight and then we can start gluing the whole thing together. Uh, so this is ultimately what we are making. I have, um, I have it over here on, on uh, my iPad. It is on teachable.com. It is a class uh, put together by Betts White. So you do, if you want to join, you can't actually find it on Teachable. You have to click uh, the link below um, to get to specifically Betts's class, the Little Felt Village. But so this is what we are making. But I just wanted to show you Betts released her next, her next uh, little miniature house. So remember, this is uh, 12 12 months of these. Um, so she just released the last one in her autumn section and it is the Woodland Cottage. So uh, I'll let it load up here, but here is the next little house. Ah! <laughs> okay, it's still still loading a little, but it is just adorable. Um, so this is going to be the new one. Oh, look, here's a, another image. I think this top image is just taking a little while to load, but it's got this cute little uh, shingles on the roof. <laughs> Look at this little doorway out front. So anyway, you guys, this is the new, oh, cute, 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 the new kit. Oh, I like the chimney with all those little uh, bricks on there. So I'm just kind of looking at this for the first time, really. Uh, but isn't it just cute? So let's see if we can get that last one loaded that or that first image there. But so this is the next one of the collection. So we are not going to stitch this one, but if you did want to uh, stitch another one from, oh, this one's not loading. Let's see if I hit refresh. Um, if you wanted to do another one, one of these, this is the next one. And again, all the ones, the spring and the summer ones have been released already. So like, you know, let's, well, and okay, so here's the, um, here's the first one from the autumn collection. So the autumn collection is this uh, cute little schoolhouse. Then it's our spooky clock tower. And that's what we're making here, the spooky clock tower. And then the new one is the woodland, woodland cottage. Oh, that, that guy's not loading. I don't know why he's not loading. I think sometimes um, this just gets a little stuck. But there we go. Uh, and it looks like it has the little windows, so you can probably have like the cute little light up. Yep, the little light up windows again, like how we're doing with the, the clock tower with our little uh, our little uh, fake lamps there. But anyway, so yeah, if you are interested and want to do any of the other ones like from from summer or anything, like here's here's for example beach hut. So this is the fourth design. Um, you know, so it, there's some summery ones, some spring ones and fall ones. Oh my God. <laughs> he's, he's cute. So yeah, so there, those are some examples of what's in this. Again, we are, we are only doing the, um, we are only doing the spooky clock tower. 
and we are on to the assembling the pedestal. So we're going to start there tonight. So I'm going to um, get you guys over here and let's see where we left off. But yeah, so if you did want to participate, the link is uh, below, below this, in this post here. Uh, and that's with the link you get all of, you get all the ones that came before still. And then all the winter ones haven't been released yet. So you'll get those as they're released. And it's that nice step-by-step -step instructions as well. So, all right. <laughs> so I did, I did end up gluing this. So remember we had just finished this. Um, I had to wait for um, my vellum to dry uh, where we left off and I said I was going to just glue the edges together so we could stitch all of these up all at once today. So I did do that. I did add the glue there. Um, Alright, so we are starting at the pedestal. The instructions were written in order but I did it so, you know, I had a I did all of the beginning parts where I glued it together and now I'm going to do all the second parts where I'm going to stitch these up. So uh, next up, you know, now since the glue is dry, we are going to whip stitch um, where this felt meets. So hopefully we don't get like that, that white bit. I mean, I guess I don't really mind that so much, but you know, we don't want we don't want this to like pull apart, like our glue to pull apart either. So we're going to just stitch that up. I have some gray thread that just happens to match it pretty well. So we're going to use that. I'm going to get uh, Zeb out here again. I'm going to see, maybe I'll use a different needle. I think I'm going to use, uh, instead of my, um, my uh, embroidery needle, I'm going to use this, this, uh, um, straw needles. So straw needles are just uh, longer needles. So Milner needles are also what they're called. Uh, they're just they're longer, which makes them easy to work with. And this one has a small eye. This is probably maybe a size nine or something. It's a little fatter than what I use uh, for you know my English paper piecing and all that. But I think it'll be nice because you know if we're dealing with felt and everything, we can do a little bit larger needle, heftier needle. I think. Okay, so let's give this a go. I guess we'll start with, um, well, let's thread a needle and we'll start with a knot. And I think we'll just come from the back with our knot. And we will just do, yeah, a little whip stitch around all those on um, that edge. So I haven't you know, stitched through this Peltex or anything before. I mean, we don't, we're not really stitching through the Peltex, um, but my first stitch is coming up from the, from the back. And we have a little Peltex edge here. I'm just going to leave that. Um, I figure it'll be more level <laughs> if we keep that. So, all right. So here's my edge that I'm connecting. I, I think I'm just going to kind of grab the edge of the felt on, on this side and I'm going to come up on the edge of the felt on the other side here and I'm just going to try and not hit my uh, embroidery. We'll see how that goes. I'm just going to make little stitches all the way up. I am kind of stitched. These, um, this chain stitch is kind of close so we might accidentally grab, grab some of it. And again, this doesn't have to be perfect. We're just, it's just that final touch of holding things together. Wow, I really did maybe stitch, my chain stitch too close. I can probably take my finger and kind of push it out of the way a little bit. There we go. Hit you guys a little bit there. So we're at that like finishing work a little bit with here, with this. So I'd like to hopefully stitch all these up. I think I'll get a little faster once I get get going at it a little bit. And um, there's gluing involved yet. So we are going to glue these sections together. So maybe I'll stitch this first one and well, why don't we just read the instructions? <laughs> I'll, I'll finish the steps on this first one and then we'll, we'll see what the instructions are and then we'll finish the steps on the next one. I just did the first step of all of this assembly stuff which was gluing, gluing it together. All right, so right here is where this is coming in handy, right in the middle where I didn't have those wonder clips. So now, now we're like 
holding all this together really nicely. All right, you guys, I am giving you a little forewarning. I am going to be out for quite a bit coming up here. Well, not quite a bit, but you know, over a week. <laughs> so I'm hoping that we can finish this up Friday. I am going to be uh, visiting family, uh, the Hubs' family over in California. So I will be out starting Friday. So we will not have, uh, we will not have our little get together here on Friday. And um, I will be gone the whole next week after that. And then I think a little bit more. I, I'm not quite sure when we come back. I'll have to look at that again, but I will not be here at all next week. So hopefully I can pop in on social media a little bit. Um, but just letting you guys know. All right, so I, I got all the way to the top here. I'm just going to try and, I don't know, how should I tie a knot here? I'm gonna just kind of grab into the back of this again and um, tie it, just go around this little bit a couple times. There, that seems like a knot. And then I'll just tuck it in here. So it's out of our way so it doesn't pop out. Okay, and I think that does it. I'm gonna maybe snip this a little short too. We'll have this little little end here, but oh well. Okay, so that's um, that's the first little bit stitched up all nice. So I'm gonna just check what the instructions say next. Okay, so we are gluing stuff now. So now that we're done with that, we are going to put glue on the top of it here. Just get my my folds really nice in here again so it's nice and square and then uh, this pedestal first pedestal is gonna get glued to the top so we'll have to get that as centered as we can um, apply glue to the top of the pedestal place the tower platform on top of the Peltex side down centering the pedestal okay so that's the deal. Let's uh, let's put some glue on that. I'm gonna try and get right above it and um, get this pedestal all squared up. We might have to shimmy it around a little bit. Oh, this makes me nervous too. I think I'm gonna go at an angle here. And we really are, like this is just enough of this tacky glue. I really probably could have used getting that bigger one. I thought, eh, I could probably get it done with or this small one is probably fine, but um, I'm cutting it close, I think. Oh, I don't want any of this glue to run, but I want enough gob there. All right, I think that's good. All right, this we need to center, so let's just, gosh. Right like that. Okay, so I'm just peeking from the front. Just rotating it around a little bit. Actually, I think that looks pretty good. Let's see what it looks like from the top. Okay, that looks pretty square. So now I just squish it down. All right, well, I guess that's that. <laughs> Pedestal is done. So I'm gonna move on to the next instructions here, but this is what's gonna be so fun is, um, you know, this goes underneath and then the light can shine up through here and then you'll still be able to see it uh, come through, you know, come through so you can see it flicker and everything in these lights here. So you can, you can still kind of see it. So that'll be neat. I'm excited to see what that looks like all together. We're getting there. I think we'll definitely get there this week. Gosh, that new design really makes me want to do another one. All right, yeah, we're gonna let it sit. So I don't want to putz with it too much more now that we got it centered and everything. So, all right, let's move on to the next instruction. So I, I can finally on here, hit complete and continue. Oh, there we go. 
So now it went on to the next sec section, assembling the tower. So we already did the glue part. Um, there we go. Oh yeah, see, we got a lot to stitch together there. Um, okay, we pinned it shut. Now we gotta do that stitching all the way up. Ooh, let's see how that goes. Okay, cool. Oh yeah, we could turn it over. You know what? Maybe I'll just set, here we go. I'm gonna just set this on top of it for now. Um, I'm going to be putting, I'm gonna be putting this, gluing this guy on like right afterwards here. So we'll let that sit like this uh, for a little bit here. And then this gets glued on it once we're done stitching it. So then I'll take it off. So it'll have like a few minutes to sit like that. Okay, so I didn't really have a thread that was this color. So um, I looked around, I did have this kind of red, kind of a little dark red. It's kind of bright, like I think it might be actually kind of visible. I'm wondering if it might be better for me to just continue with this gray. And I think they're both kind of visible. But maybe that's kind of fun. Maybe I should have it visible. <laughs> Maybe I, maybe I do just uh, stitch it with this. I think I'm gonna, it's gonna be bright and you, you'll probably see it a little bit, but it's gonna add to the charm of it, I think. Okay, so let's do the same thing. So we're gonna be whip stitching this, but it, there's not like much overhang with, um, with that flap overhang of felt. So we'll see how this goes. The gray is better. Yeah, I could do black maybe. Black would maybe be good too. I don't have a thin... Man, I really, I looked in all my old threads. I just kind of collect rando threads and I apparently do not use red thread very often because I did not have a good selection. Uh, what I did have, I did have some colors that were close but it was 12 weight so that's really, that's really kind of a thick thick thread. We're, we're just going to use this. All right, I just kind of came up a little bit further and I'm going to just grab this bottom bit. I'm doing this weird, but oop, got caught here. Oh yes, it's a Beautiful state for sure. All right. So I, I, I'm just gonna grab, I'm gonna, hopefully this will just pull together a little bit. There we go. Okay, see, so me pulling on it is, is gonna bring it together. I could use the burgundy embroidery floss. I think I'm gonna just stick with this, this thread though. The floss, I'm afraid that if I go down to like one strand, maybe it won't be as strong. I mean, I'm really kind of yanking on this. This is, um, these felt pieces are kind of far apart. <laughs> Hopefully I don't like tear, tear the, tear the, um, floss, but that's, or the felt, but that's, that's not looking bad at all. I think, okay, there, I think I got a plan now. I'm pulling, I'm pulling it tight and then I'm holding it tight there. I'm just kind of grabbing the felt. Luckily this is that wool blend felt so it's a bit stronger. I'm sure if I use just normal eco felt this would have just torn right through. Okay this is totally working and I think it looks nice. I don't think you can tell that it's this bright red thread or anything. I think it looks good. Oh yep we've been checking the news for the fire and they or for um um not fire, but PG&E, the um, electric company turning off electricity, and they have been, they have been doing it in the area that we're going. So that is definitely something we have our eye on, which is a bummer. Just we'll see how that goes. I'm sure, we'll get the skinny when we go out there. Okay, this is totally working. I'm, I'm totally happy with this. 
Um, it really is pulling this edge together. I mean, this is really a nice extra touch and you can't tell that the color is goofy at all. I, I think it looks good. I'm, I'm, I'm pleasantly surprised because this was, this thread was going to be a question mark and just how well I was going to be able to, you know, kind of suture these together. But it's working really well. What's happening is a little, like I, I didn't glue really all the way to the edge or the glue is coming up a little. So I'm able to just kind of grab just the felt. I'm definitely using smaller stitches on this one, I think, because I got more to more to pull together. Yep, that Gretchen, that's that's kind of that's kind of the area. That's what we're that's uh not quite the area, but that latitude at least. And um yeah, just uh we're definitely keeping an our eye on it. The the wind and the power. Turn the power out. Ugh, gosh, how horrible. I'm really pulling at this window on this side, but I think it's going to look fine still. Me holding the thread so it doesn't come apart is, is helping. So this will get us about halfway through. There's two more um, things we have to stitch up like this, um, but I think this is the longest bit. So one burgundy and one more gray one yet. So we're getting it figured. I, I think it's going to be cute. I'm happy with this red. Okay. Yeah, just an inch or so left here. Then we can glue this to the top. Oh, one thing, I'm kind of pressing hard on, on the windows here. I gotta watch that so I'm not, not pressing on the windows at all. All right, Ugh, I gotta switch hands. I can't hold it there anymore. We'll put it this way, I guess. There, I must have started doing a little bit bigger stitches. I can see those. Oh, you've had a few fires in Southern California too. Oh, sheesh. Yeah, that's such a scary natural type disaster. I mean, they're all scary, but at least, I mean, like the, I mean, you know, I suppose we have really bad temperatures. You know, if you lose the power and it's negative 50, that's a big problem, but, um, you know, the only thing that's coming at you ever is like a tornado, but those are pretty isolated where they go. All right, last little stitch, I think. I'll go around here a couple times. And we'll tie this guy up. All right, and to the back. Oh, that really finished this off nice. Look how good that is. All right, let's tie that off. Again, I'm just kind of grabbing some of this Peltex. I don't know if that's the best way to do this, but I think it will get the job done. <laughs> I'm gonna lose my needle, I can't reach it. There we go. Just gonna grab that stitch and tie a little knot. Come on. There we go. Yeah, this is looking awesome, I think. Oh, I, I think I split my thread here, so this might be a little bit of a disaster. Hopefully not. Uh, it's just like a weird big knot. That's fine. I'm gonna actually just tie 
all that in a one more knot and then we just trim it off where it is. Okay, now we lost the thread too. Oh man, I feel like with the normal thread, like non-embroidery thread, I'm so clumsy, but I guess this is a little of an awkward position here too. With this funny shape in the Peltex. <laughs> okay, now I even have a bigger crazy knot. That's all right, we're gonna cover it up right now. Exactly, it's hidden. <laughs> we'll just have a shadow of a tiny little piece of thread. But there we go, that's the side that, that I stitched up there. I'm gonna try and squish these edges again. This one kinda got poofy, but I don't know, I feel like I'm gonna hurt the, the windows a little bit. That window, that window I kind of pulled open a little bit more uh, with stitching it, but that's okay. Um, so let's let's make this one the front window because this one, well, yeah, this one is a little goofy in the back. So next up, we glue. So I put glue around the bottom edge here. Ooh, I'm not quite square there either, am I? Well, that's okay. That's part of the fun too that we're not. This isn't perfect. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna put glue around the bottom there and then we're gonna set uh, This on the top so the window goes in the front and the window isn't really centered there either, but that's kind of funny So right here. So what we're gonna do now is Center it like that Like so So let's see if we can do that back up a little bit here Oh, I'm a little scared for that. Oh, we got actually a lot of steps yet on here. Oh, look at this. So, okay, I'm gonna shimmy you over to the instructions here. We'll kind of we'll kind of look at both while we work here. So, we are on assembling the tower. So, uh, we have to apply glue to the bottom edge and stick it up on the tower here, making sure that the arch is in the right direction. Um, plus, press the glue together. Um, then, look, we got these cute little support guys that are going to go on the edges here. So, all right, so it looks like we're gluing those in half, and then gluing the edge, ah, and just sticking them up on there at a 45 degree angle. Oh my god, that's going to be the cutest freaking little part. Okay, so we have actually, we're doing a whole pile of stuff here. Um, oh, we're going to tilt the whole thing upside down. Okay, I think I got it here, you guys. So, um, what we're going to start out with, so this is kind of intense, so maybe we'll just get this far, I don't know if we'll get much farther than this. Um, so tomorrow we might have to stitch the other thing. So this is upside down now. I'm going to put a gob of glue, I hope this dries clear because I'm going to need it to. <laughs> so we're going to have a lot of glue everywhere. I am throwing glue on the bottom. Hopefully enough so it stays. Okay, that should be good. All right, now I'm centering it on here with uh, that window to the front. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna look from above, I think. Ooh, that's even scarier. Okay, we're gonna just drop it on there. <laughs> All right, I am going to scooch it a little, so I'm trusting this glue's a little, uh, a little clear, hopefully at least. Ooh, I gotta scooch it back a little. I didn't quite center it uh, sideways. Back looks fine. Yeah, we just scooched back a hair. <laughs> okay. I think we're I think we're good there. All right, so uh, there's that part. Um, I think um, well, we do have to prep these other little pieces. So let's well, that that kind of happens at the same time. So let's let's get these. All right, so we have to glue them together. Oh wow, these are small, aren't they? So we're gonna glue them together like this. And then we're going to, um, oh wait, fold the support piece in half. So we don't have to glue it. Oh yeah, we do. Okay. So we do have to um, put glue on here. 
here, so let's do that. Probably don't need a ton. Oh, this is going to be the cutest part, these little support pieces. All right, so let's fold that in half. <laughs> Cute! All right. That should stick together pretty quickly, I would think. Ooh, must not have gotten this bottom area enough. There. There we go, now it's holding. No, it's not. All right. So now I'm going to, what's next? Glue the long edge, and that's going to get put right on the side here. So those are our funny little um, supports. I'm going to start at the back, <laughs> just in case I mess up. So let's put a gob of glue here. In theory, maybe I should let these dry overnight, but I think, I think, I think they'll figure themselves out. <laughs> They're pretty cute. Okay, that's kind of a lot of glue. Or maybe it isn't. All right, so right on the top. <laughs> so fun. Okay, that's our first little support. So our little support piece there. Okay, so let's get another one. So we got, we got four of these total. All right, so again, we're gonna fold them together and uh, um, glue that little edge. Maybe if I press them together, that little bottom piece would stay, but that sounds like we probably don't need to do that. It might be a little unnecessary, a little overkill. As they say, I'll just make sure I get glued down there. Some up top, there we go, that should do. All right, let's fold that in half. Ah, squish it. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna hold that for a little while. Oh gosh, up on top too. All right, so maybe I do need to press these and maybe let them sit for a little bit, or maybe, you know, just let them get tacky a little bit. But all right, um, maybe I should be putting pressure on this while we go. Oh, let me know if any of you guys have gotten this far with with your uh, spooky clock tower. I'd love to see them over in the Penguin and Fish Crafters group yet too. All right, I'm just gobbing it on. We're just going for it. So now here's here's an important one. It's a front one. <laughs> so fun. It just made me happy. Oh, it's gonna look so good. I mean, we're gonna get this pillar on here or this top and then we'll get our clock on top of there. Ugh, okay, super excited. All right, two more. Two more and then I think we do do this tower here. Uh, I didn't actually uh, remove those marks. You can kind of see the little marks uh, from the wonder clips there. Oh yeah, I could just do a clip. Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah, let's do that. So, so smart. I have them right here. <laughs> so, good idea, little Ann. So I'm gonna just grab two clips to finish this off. Um, how about I glue these final two? I have two more of these, and then I will clip them. And uh, while they're clipped, I will press press this guy really quick to, just to get those nubbins off. Um, and then these should be plenty good to glue on the rest of it. Sheesh, I use those for everything else and didn't even think to use them for this. I did not make any soup. We were at a wedding. So I, I just got back uh, yesterday from, from the wedding. All right, so I'm actually going to clip it at the, this bottom area is the part that kind of wants to poof up. So yeah, I think we'll just go like that. Let's do this second one. Our template piece is still on there. Yeah, if you are doing more than one of these um, little felt village guys, uh, make sure to get the larger tacky glue because I, I am nervous about 
running out of this. And this is just one little design here. I know, how am I not covered in glue? I, I'm getting there. <laughs> My fingers, fingers are starting to get there. All right, so I'm gonna just let that sit for two seconds uh, while I get, um, let's we'll cover the glue up. Let's get the pressing, the, my mat out here again. Uh, I'm gonna just really quickly try and press out all these these little clamp marks. You can kind of, you can just barely see them, but um, just a little press will get rid of those. And I'm gonna do that with um, this guy. This little guy needs it too. And just hitting it really quickly with the iron totally gets rid of it. Oh, let's get him from underneath too. Those. Oh, I gotta be careful there because that's got that Peltex. All right, you can kind of see them on the underneath side, but I'm I'm okay with that. So there we go. So that's that. Yeah, I feel way better about that. You can't see them on all on top anymore. All right, back to this guy. All right, so I'm going to glue these other two guys on. This should be plenty long enough. Yeah, there we go. Oh gosh, even that little short time put kind of some marks on there. But I'm okay with that. All right, let's put glue on. Let's do this back one first. Oh, I know, Jackie, it is coming along. So we what we did today was we stitched up the edges of just these two parts so they um, have that nice clean edge so you don't see the Peltex and now we're kind of gluing it all together. It's fun. It, I, I rarely, super rarely work on fabric projects that are first of all three-dimensional like this but second that use glue and uh, I feel like I'm assembling like a you know, a house sort of thing. I do feel architecture-y doing this, but it's kind of fun. I feel like super crafty using the glue and everything. It's just, it's refreshing. I like it. All right, here's the last, last feller there. <laughs> oh my god, they are cute. All right, so those are the, I don't want to tilt it too much because we have glue here, but those are our little, um, support beams, decorative support beams for this clock tower. All right, next up, I think we just glue the heck out of the top. Yeah, and then we put this guy on. Centered with the pelt sticks down. Oh, we don't actually have to flip it upside down. There was just an image to show us. However, I think this will, this might be easier to put on upside down. Like I'm wondering if we do put this on. Yes, yeah, like plain models. These are kind of like plain models. I wonder if we, oh, I think I lost, a, lost one of these guys. I forgot those are pretty delicate yet. Oh, I think that's too scary. We're gonna, we're gonna do this upright. I think it's intended to do upright, but I thought, ooh, we could see everything really well upside down. But I think we'll just angle these exactly how we want, and we'll just stick it right on top here. Okay, let's do that. Get the glue. Ah, it's scary. All right. Cool. Get these side guys as I go. Ooh, that's a lot. This is the front, so I don't want anything to drip. Oh, I cannot wait to put the little um, blinky light in here. All right, all right, let's put the cap on here. Oh, let's do it! So I'm putting this big one on here. Oh gosh. I'm going to just drop it down and we're going to shimmy it to where we need it to be. All right, so I'm going to scooch it to the left. Let's do our little sideways check. A little back check. 
All right, I think I think we're pretty good here. <laughs> All right, it is looking awfully sweet. So I just want to make sure that we're on here. I think we're definitely going to want to put some sort of something on the top while this dries because it's it's poofing up a bit. Just want to make sure that all these are touching, touching the top Ooh, and the edge. Okay, I am going to put, um, I'll grab it over here. I am going to put my, my uh, wonder clips there <laughs> while we move on to the, to the next step there. Actually, we might, well, let's, let's see what's coming up next. So there, that step is done. <laughs> I'm going to just scooch this to the edge a little bit. It does dry relatively quick, or I mean, it'll get at least sturdy enough that, you know, I can probably remove that in a moment here or so, but let's, let's go, click complete and continue. Now we had a lot of extra stuff. We had to do all these little, um, I was wondering when that was going to come in. Okay. Now here's the clock tower. So again, we started, we did that part already. So now, now I have the glue everywhere. Um, Okay, glue that flap. Hold on, I think I'm guessing we need to, oh yeah, so if needed, whip stitch uh, the felt edges, and we do need to do that. I'm gonna whip stitch this again, but then what else do we need to do? Oh, and we just keep gluing it to the top. <laughs> keep gluing it and gluing and gluing it up. All right, so let's, uh, I think we have enough time to do this whip stitching. Uh, so then, all that we have left is the roof here. So the roof, we will also have to whip stitch, but then I think we glue this guy to the top. And then we also have to glue, we got an extra step in this one too. We got our crazy little uh, spiky top to put on here too. <laughs> uh, for cute. But let's, let's take care of this because I definitely want to stitch this up. So this is that one that I accidentally had that tab on the opposite side, but I think we are totally fine still. Just grab some thread. <laughs> yep, the Wonder Clip Tower right now. Gosh, I'd really love to throw the candles in here tonight to see what it looks like, but I... I'll hold off till tomorrow. I don't want to affect this glue, and there's a lot of a lot being held together by that glue right now. So I'll just I'll have to be patient, but we might uh, get this. We might get this awfully close to finish tomorrow, which would be really fun. I'd be excited about that. All right, let's. I'm just kind of coming up a little farther away, and then we'll stitch over these stitches, just so I'm not way at the bottom with my thread. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna grab again the uh, felt from the one side and then the other. I'll probably go in this spot once again. This is gonna be the trick. This is the first part is the tough part where I gotta kind of pull, start pulling this together. There we go. Oops, kind of in the way. I want to stitch on top of it. Just gotta get into these little whip stitches again. Oh, this is gonna work just fine though. We're just pulling these two edges together. This is a, I'm glad I'm doing this though. I was thinking, oh, you, you could probably skip this stitch, but this is really going to um, finish it. I mean, you know, it's, we're gonna not see this white edge at all. So that'll be good. I think that's making it look much better. Maybe, maybe on yours, uh, you got the felt closer together and you don't need to do this. You just dab some glue or like you you placed it better than I did and, and it just uh, worked out that you don't need to stitch. But for mine, this is definitely adding to it. I feel like I can see my little red stitches a little bit more, but I kind of love them. kind of like it. I don't want to grab, like I am kind of getting in there. I don't want to grab so close to um, the edge that that my thread just pulls through the felt. <laughs> I 
We have to, this is going to be my lonely Halloween de decoration probably this year. We don't have any, any Halloween or autumn or any decorations up. I suppose it's not quite Halloween yet either. Who knows, more might happen before then. <laughs> guy out of the top yet, which would be awesome. So we this must not be glued, the roof, because we need to lift it up and down to get the um, the candle in there, the um, fake flickery candle. So my guess is that just sets on top, which is perfect. This is a different size and everything, so it's not going to sit on it as well, probably, if it was glued. Yeah, so we're almost done stitching, so let's, I want to glue this on tonight. I'm just getting so impatient. I, I, it's so cute. I wanted to, I want to get this, I want to just keep, like, making it taller and taller. Um, so then tomorrow we will, I think we'll probably finish this. So tomorrow we'll do, um, whatever needs to happen here. I think we need to stitch up the edge and get this top on and then the spikies and, uh, we'll see what are in the instructions after that and get our cute little lights in here too. I'm going to go around this spot. back let's tie tie the knot again it's a little tricky but yeah it it stays in the back so no one's gonna see it I have my little 8 30 uh, is my time on there because that's when we do our scopes here is it 8 30 <laughs> That's a good enough knot for me. Ooh, yeah, I could get a, oh, that's a good idea. I get a little pumpkin, just have like for the indoors and then um, instead of letting it rot outside the pumpkin, then make some soup afterwards. That would be, okay, I'm trying to grab this needle. Ah. Yeah, just I think a little decoration like that would just finish this off and make it more Halloween-y. Okay, cool. I'm going to just, again, squish this so it's maybe a little bit more square. All right, I think it looks great, actually. All right, so let's let's get this on. All right, so what part do I glue? Okay, I glued this part here, and then we just plop it onto the top of our, our like tower that's sitting right there. So let's shimmy this guy forward again. I'm going to leave this on until I uh, am ready with the glue. So let's, let's do that. So this is um, 8.30. So this is the bottom. <laughs> Important detail. Otherwise we got uh, 2 o'clock, <laughs> which would work too. It could be, it could be 2 a.m. But let's, let's keep it 8.30. Gobbing our glue on again. Yep, I am super low on the glue. I might have to store it upside. Oop, there we go. Store it upside down. Whoa, I got glue everywhere. Now it's flowing. Now I got the right amount of squeeze happening. Okay, so the clock points to the front, um, you know, where the door is and everything. So we are positioned correctly. Remove that. And I, I'm going to put this back on the top, I think. 
Alright, so I'm going to try and center it. <laughs> oh gosh, I didn't center it all this way, but so I'm shimmying it forward a hair. <laughs> I hope that dries clear, at least in the back. I think that looks okay <laughs> going up. I'm going to... Oh, this is probably a bad idea, but I'm doing it. All right. I am putting that weight on the top there, but there's our little clock tower there. Um, I'll take a better picture so it's um, facing the light, actually. Here, let's turn it a little bit, and I'll get you guys over here, and then we can see it a little bit better. <laughs> it's cute, though. Oh, I really want to put... I think I'm going to do it. I'm going to put the lights in. I just want to see what it looks like here uh, before we finish tonight. So um, this, I just don't want to get any glue on it. Let's put one in the bottom. So I, all I have to do is lift it up. Okay, so there. Now we're starting to get the blinky there. All right, I got to get another one out. I just got a little um, set of them here from Joanne's. Okay. And then uh, I think I have to pull this little tab out, and it should have a battery and everything in it. All right, there we go. So, all right, let's just drop it in here. Ah. <laughs> okay, so there is the blinking on the top. Um, in the dark, you would be able to see this a little bit better. Um, yeah, and then this guy will go up here. <laughs> and we'll get the spikes on top as well. But for the time being... I suppose I'll sh I should take those out. Get this back on just um, so all the glue kind of stays. Although I'm a little scared that maybe this will fall off. But anyway, there we are! Oh, I couldn't resist uh, getting getting that off, getting that in there. <laughs> so I, I will turn this all off um, this evening here yet. I don't want that on overnight. I, it's just a little tiny battery. It's, I'm sure it's fine. But we are coming along here. I love it. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm going to flip you around and we will call it an evening here. All right, hello. So we are getting this done. We are uh, just about there. We're a little crazy here. All right. So uh, the last little parts, again, are the roof. We're going to add all these little spikies to it, so that'll make it extra cute. I think if we do have some time yet, so uh, tomorrow's only Tuesday, um, maybe we will add some little extra details. Like, we could, like, make some little bats or, like, a little owl out of our leftover felt and um, add that to it. Um, I would like to actually do something with some of this uh, leftover felt, so we could do a little bit of that. I want to see if I can hold this up so you guys can see it again. Maybe I'm getting a little too daring here, but there is our tower so far. <laughs> the light, light at the top there, shining through the windows. Oh, cute. All right, I gotta be careful. <laughs> I'm gonna just let that sit and dry. I shouldn't mess with it anymore. So awesome, you guys. Thank you again for joining me. I will get this up on YouTube if you want to see the assembly of this again. And yeah, be sure to check out... Uh, the link below if you want to make this with um, the other 12 or the other 11 of the little cute little felt village um, guys here from, again, the designer is Bets White. Uh, these are just fun. I've literally been smiling this whole time working on this. So uh, totally recommend it. <laughs> so I will see you guys tomorrow. Have a great evening. Uh, good night.